this demonstrates some of the renderer interface and frame rate code I've been playing with. What we see here is a mule, blocks of sand, and when the frame rate slows, because we're looking at a huge space that's subdivided a lot, it gets black, and the blackness increases slightly frame by frame until it's black enough to increase the frame rate. This way you get to still see the, when you glance up, you can see the extent of the space, but it doesn't slow down the rendering for very long. Anyway. I've made the event response much better by ensuring that no matter what the frame rate is, that keyboard and mouse events are grabbed. <laughs> and um, actually the responsiveness to events is more important than the frame rate. That is, you're better off at a, slow, a low frame rate, but with very responsive controls, than with a high frame rate, but where the controls are sticky. So I'm drawing mule. I think I'm not going to mix any music at all into this. So here I am. I've brought the cursor in fairly close. And I'm drawing mule cubes in a semi-hemisphere above me, and now I'm putting some blue, some transparent blue, into the dome. So I've built a little occluding dome around myself. Notice that uh, the camera bounces off surfaces that it hits. And drawing cloud, strafing. Notice it gets dark, and I can just by glancing down at the voxel I'm on, thus getting a high frame rate because I'm not looking through its complicated space, I can then glance up and see the world clearly before the black comes back in. Fish eye a little bit. Cloud. I'm about to demonstrate mirrors. And there's a mirror. Notice it reflects a mule in the background. Now I'm drawing mirrors, cube mirrors, a whole line of them. 